So a beautifully sneaky question here. Uh, simultaneous equations using arithmetic series and sequences. So let's look at the question. The sum of the first 10 terms of an arithmetic sequence is 48 and 3 quarters. And the fourth term is 3 and 3 quarters. So um, a bit sneaky here because this bit here is talking about uh, adding numbers up for the sum of the first 10 terms. But this one is just telling me this is the fourth term. And it's asking what's the first term, which is an A value, and what's the common difference, which is our D value. So uh, we're trying to find two things, and we've got two relationships. Sounds like the perfect time to be using simultaneous equations. So uh, let's use the first bit here. The sum of is going to be equal to N over 2 bracket uh, 2A plus N minus 1 times uh, D. And I know that the sum is 48 and 3 quarters. Uh, 48 and 3 quarters. I hate using mixed numbers, but we'll see how we go. The first 10 terms, 10 over 2. Um, 2A plus N minus 1. So there's 10 terms, so that's 9 uh, plus 9D. Okay, so that looks like an equation with an A and a D in it. So I'm going to call that equation 1. And then look at this one here. We've got uh, term n equals a plus n minus 1d, which is equal to, okay, the fourth term is 3 and 3 quarters. Uh, the a value, I don't know. I know that the n value is 4, so n minus 1 is 3. Okay, so uh, that's my second equation. I think maybe this equation could use a bit more work. That one looks really neat. This one's still got brackets and stuff going on. So I'll call this 48 and 3 quarters equals 10 over 2 is just 5. And then I can do uh, the distributive law. So 5 times 2a is going to be 10a. 5 times 9d is going to be um, 45d. All right, that's a better equation. I'll just rewrite that in blue. All right, that's way better. Let's use that one. All right, so now I've got 48 and 3 quarters equals 10a plus 45d. I've got 3 and 3 quarters equals a plus 3d. You could do this on a calculator-free test because uh, it's, really, it's a really pretty simple one. You've got 48 and 3 quarters equals 10a plus 45d and you've got the other one which is 3 and 3 quarters equals um, a plus 3d so you could just uh, multiply the bottom here by 10 and then subtract one from the other and solve it that way now uh, the mixed numbers are a bit weird like I said we don't generally use them you could just get rid of them by writing 48.75 and 3.75 if you wanted to. All right. Or calculator, uh, exit. Let's go here. Maybe you will go to uh, F1, simultaneous equations. Number of unknowns, 2. So just be aware it wants it in um, a number. The times a number times x plus a number times y equals uh, just a number. So we have that. We've got a number plus 3d equals that thing there. So my a value for uh, the, the, call this this one's this one's equation one. This one's equation two. Let's not get confused. Okay, so 10, uh, 45. And 48 and 3 quarters, 7, 5. And the other one is going to be uh, 1, 3, and 3.75. And solving. All right, so our x value is our a value, which is 1.5, and our y value is 0 0.75. And our uh, common difference, what did it say? 0 
Okay, uh, so fairly straightforward. Uh, you just need to be able to recognize these kinds of questions, set up your two equations, one, two, and then solve them in a tech-free paper by subtracting one from the other or substituting one into the other, or if it's tech-active, using your calculator.